This would have gone a lot quicker if we read the instructions. Nice. Ah, little blocky boys. Yep. Ah, oh, yes, another heavy blocky boy. <laughs> little circle boys. Ah, oh, yeah. Wires with more blocky boys. That's the good stuff. Ooh, this is a real good thing. Whoa, dude! That's the cleanest one I've seen. It's a washer. What? That's why it's so clean. Because it's a washer. I get it. Is it supposed to be in there? Why is it loose? <laughs> I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna upgrade a freaking printer. Sick. This here. What do you think? What do you think? All right. You see the pieces. Our little Bari boy. Mari boy. And this bad boy. Oh, the, uh -huh. the, the Z, this. So we're actually just adding another. We're going to do a little bit of. Ah. A little bit of. So that way, this here. No longer goes. Not going to be a thing, dude. E, 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 e. This is what we're this is what we're getting rid of today. Look at that. So that's the plan. Join us. Alright. Let's rip this puppy down. We could do the instructions. But I think we're just gonna wing it. Now we can just be like that's out of there. That's out of there. No, my washer. Was it a washer again? Yeah, it was. Dig it. All right, I got it. This a little split dealio. You tighten that one, and it clamps down on the Z lead screw. And then this one, if I loosen that, would then have the coupler come off of the motor. So motor spins, spins the thing, makes the up and down. So we're gonna change out this bracket. We'll take off the belt. I think this bracket stays. Oh, no, so this is your bracket. Where does this go? One of these printers back here has this kit. This one. Hmm. Oh, it's the other half. No, it's not. Not that either. Take that one off there, and we'll see what happens. Oh, you got the right one, dude. Remember when you put it together? No. I think when you put it together, that's why we got the wonk happening. There's, Because I think there's supposed to be a fastener in there that's not doing. But also, I watched you pretty closely while you put it together. You didn't do anything so horrendously wrong, because I would have caught it. Or not. Took off that. Took off the belt. Well, it's not off. It's off-ish. It's off-adjacent. Um, but now we got to take off... Well, we're gonna try and not take this off. And we're just gonna take top off, try and lift the whole gantry up, see if we can put our new bracket on with our stuff. I need to be talking to you instead of the camera. That's what YouTubers do. We're YouTubers after all. YouTubers. I just keep looking, just keep looking at the camera. It's got so many eyeballs. What do you mean? I should just be looking like, hi, Corey. Look at the speed! The absolute speed! Also, our organizational scheme is kind of falling oh, apart a little bit. Yeah, you alright? Maybe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See that catch though? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! So we gotta see why that's the wonk we were experiencing. There, where's... So, oh, that's supposed to be a fastener in there. Did we have any extras? Let's go right in here. Ah. I wonder if that's... It is threading in. That was the wonk. All right, well. 
It's all right, we're taking that bracket off, so. Take this bracket off. And put this bracket on. Actually, we don't really take that bracket off, I don't think. Yeah, I think we just put it on the other side. I'll tell you one time, I took this bracket off. I put it on the other side, but I did it the way it's oriented here. And I, you can't do that, so you need to have this side down. Otherwise, it contacts with the bed, and this one kind of has the cutout. Or maybe it's the other way. Regardless, I did it backwards last time. And then it was just like barely tick the bed every now and then. We might look at the instructions. So this is fully disassembled for today's purposes. And now we put it together and then we can do dual lead screw action. I <laughs> took the bracket off, now I'm gonna put it back on because I don't think I needed to take the bracket off at all. Nope, I almost put it on upside down. Did we decide that these were walk bolts? Oh uh, yeah, those are walk bolts. That goes cool. there, that's fine. That goes there, that's fine. Maybe didn't even need to take it off. Oh, where's that big long bolt? Here. That one. I think that needs to be in there. This is what we do. This video should be titled, This is why you read instructions. For reference, I've done this kit before. <laughs> And that's, I think that's why you have to take these off, yeah, okay. so that so these we, we will fit through that other bracket. So we did have to take it off so we could take that bolt out, put a different bolt on, and use these bolts instead of these bolts, because they're a little bit longer, to then hold on the bracket. Yeah. This would have gone a lot quicker if we read the instructions. But we're, like, we're there, man, we're too deep. Yeah. You know, okay, we'll read the instructions after we have it put together. So, so I'm gonna take this off again. This is right now, I think. Taking off the bracket for the first time. So even though you're gonna edit it and they're gonna see how many times we've actually taken it off. So take off that bracket. We did need to take everything off. Cause we have to get this bolt out of here. We're not using that bolt anymore. And then we have to put in longer bolts to reach across to our new bracket. We're doing it now. Uh, this is also why the wives don't care for us to work together. Yeah. Anything really. Yeah. So we want long bolts going there. And then let's do Lock bolts one and two. So put that boy on here. Yeah, put that guy there, I think. We got our new brackety bits put on. This is what allows, this is the whole reason why we're doing this. We're probably not doing it right. I'm sure we did it the least efficient way, but yeah. hold it up the long ways for speed, the wide way for torque. Love it. We got a second motor on. Bam, bam. Yep, that's not going anywhere. Not going nowhere. Probably put on some rods. Bam. Put these in wrong. We'll probably put them in wrong. We'll go from there. I think you're good. There we go. Let's do this one we'll up. Then drop that one down some. Loosen up that one you're tightening right now. Down here? Nope. Yep, loosen, loosen that guy. Bottom down. 
as, lo as loose as it can go. The rod won't go down anymore. Oh, it's because the shaft for the motor is sticking up a bunch. So loosen this one. I now see what you meant when you were asking me, and I was like, oh yeah, just have it like way down like this one. That's what I thought for. I was like, yeah. you know what? It looks better. No, I definitely told you to uh, do it wrong. So is that one just smaller? I don't know. Motor shaft? Yeah, maybe. Maybe just a little shorter. Arm is exactly flat. Z rods back on. Put our tippy toppers on. Well, now put on the gantry. Z rods, gantry. Tippy toppers. Top bits. this in before I forget about it. Toppers. Uh, topper boys. And then we also have our electrical we need to plug in. Let's feel accomplished. So this is the main output. Put that guy on there. Yep, other way. Flip it around. Before we tighten anything down, let's uh let's figure out how we're doing it. No, you got it right. And then you just use T bars. Ah, tricky, tricky. I do remember this being kind of fiddly. Yeah, so we'll put the T bar in. Alright, you seem to be captivated. Woo! Wedged it so good. Ah, oh, broke your little cable manager. No. Our cables are gonna be so unmanaged. How will I manage? So maybe we'll just put one bolt in on either side just so it doesn't fall off. Sick. Now you got the love-hate relationship with these T-bars, so this should be good. Concept of T-nuts, great idea. In practice, Man, it's so good. I just can't use it. Yep, put it there. Okay. I'm pretty sure you have to put the T bar nut in there. You have to slide it in first. Before I can even get this part in? Yeah. What? Yeah, because you don't want to bend the rod. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, I could do it like that. Maybe. Yep. That moves. I mean, it's all put together, but you got to make sure your motors are like aligned. So you got to make sure the angle of that is parallel and stuff. So we'll kind of get it to a height, do some measurements and things. And then that's that. Easy peasy.